three drying out and warming up as they head toward the upcoming Labor Day weekend. Jeannie and Anthony. You guys recognize Chef Bud. With Wrecking some, those. Yes, that too. <laughs> What's Look, that? Jeannie wins with me today. I'm Look, here. <laughs> she gets the good stuff today. I do. It smells so good, and it's just perfuming my hair. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> what do we have? Bud? So she'll smell like sesame oil today. <laughs> oh, okay. So what we have today yes. is I thought today we'd do a special kind of a new dish that uh, moms could do for their kids tonight, and it's a good re it's a great way to get your kids to eat fish because fish is one of the things I love people to try, and a lot of people won't. This is mahi mahi, and all I've done is really skewered it. So I took some bigger skewers and cut them in half. And we got a little bit. This is a nice green onion with the bulb. You don't. You can find these this time of year. Mm -hmm. They're great for an end cap. Piece of mahi, a little bit of pineapple. Piece of mahi. Do these up. You can make the marinade up, which is a little bit of sesame oil, some olive oil, pineapple juice, a little bit of rum, ginger, and uh, pepper supreme. You can mix this up. Okay. Marinate them half an hour to an hour. That doesn't take long. And you don't want them on there too long because the pineapple, the enzymes in the pineapple, start breaking stuff down. So you just want to put them together, put them in the marinade, put them on the grill. Doesn't look hard at all. Uh-uh. Except when you can't do chicken like you can. <laughs> yeah, so. I tried. Can, anyway, you, can you choose any before. veggies you want? You bet. That was a good question. Mm -hmm. And I even have I have some uh, jalapenos grill in here. Mm -hmm. I use red bells, I use green bells. Uh, the pineapple is kind of a big thing because it kind of gives it that Polynesian feel. But this is kind of a uh, kind of a uh, skewers meat Polynesian and Southwest because we put a little heat with them too. So this is a great way. It, it is a great way. Mahi is a good fish for kids to try because it's kind of a mild fish. And it takes on whatever flavor you want to put on it. The sesame oil from your Rollins or your Kikum, they make a great, great pair. It gives that earthy flavor. And like I said, you noticed that there was no garlic in here. And that's because I wanted kind of that earthy flavor. That so. looks good, man. It smells yeah. good. And I know it's going to taste good here yeah. in about 15 minutes. Yeah, when you guys tear it up. So, yeah. so school back today. Here's a good opportunity for you tonight uh, to, uh, like I said, give yourself, give your kids a little something. A little something different. The franchise became a senior this morning. Very so. nice franchise. That's his daughter. <laughs> and for this guy, good life, good yes, food. Yes, go like the Facebook page. On Facebook. Yeah, good life, good, good food. Good food with Chef Bud. Chef Bud, yeah. Bud Anderson. Go like it. Jeannie and I will be picture with us on there. Okay. Yes. We'll take Very that picture. Very nice, Bud. <laughs> okay. I think we have a quiz question to jump oh, on. Oh, let's jump on that quiz, quiz question. Yes, we'll do this McDonald's McCafe quiz question. The first one to get the answer cor uh, correct gets uh, an appetizer over at Kushiyama. And a free McCafe coffee from McDonald's. <laughs> what composer's music was featured in the Clockwork Orange? That's a movie from way back in the 1960s, late 60s. I have no 373, idea. 1787, at extension 243. Travis from New Hampshire. He's our daybreak producer. He'll answer the phone. He'll be nice to you because he's a nice guy. I, I won't be winning. So. You don't know the answer? I have no idea what the answer Me that would be. It's okay. So. <laughs> Stick around, please. Much more of Daybreak after this. Mm -hmm. 